Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, the Goose Tonight. Today we're doing a bit of a shorter review, because we're doing a little review on something my buddy got from Buddy Oso, the guy did the uh, review for the uh, Ordnance Tactical not too long ago. And I got these off of him through one of my buddies, and these are the Howard Light Impact Sports. So these are relatively popular. I've definitely seen uh, John Lavelle running these on his uh, Instagram page and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I've actually never really seen a pair and I wasn't really paying attention to them until they got passed on over to me. So what's interesting about these is you can pick them up relatively cheap. Oh yeah, Howard Lights by Sperion. Sperion? 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 Something like that. Yeah, so these ones obviously they've... Uh, They've been through the ringer, but they do work and function. And after doing a little inspection on the inside, for the most part, they look legit. And I bring that up because there is an issue where there's a lot of counterfeit fake ones of these out and about in the world, which is interesting because this is like a $46 headset on Amazon if you get a real one. Otherwise, you're getting like a $5 made one at a $46 price tag, which is suboptimal and also is going to give you tinnitus. So, uh, yeah, watch out for that. Um, but for the most part, um, they're a really simple headset, uh, headband. They're uh, more interesting because they do have the active hear-through, which, again, we're going to be comparing everything to the Opscore NFMI-enabled amps. So we're not... Uh, for $46, I'm not expecting to do as well. And, uh, yeah, as, once again, with doing YouTube videos... There is no perfect hear-through solution for this, so as far as me putting them on and telling you how well they work, eh, I, we're mostly got to go off of, are these uh, what are they, certified products by the Australian Standard? I've never really been to Australia, but you know, I'm pretty sure it's cool, right? Australian Standard, yep. So these have their little Australian-made stuff going on. So since I can't really tell you too much as to how well they're drowning out noise and stuff. I can't tell you how well the uh, speaker little uh, hear-through technology works. And um, mostly they do have that little sort of can echo back. So let's go ahead and we're going to throw these on. These are activated by this little dial here on the side. And the batteries go here on the opposite side in this little cubby hole right here. So we pull this guy. I'm going to pull this guy free real quick. And yeah, there you go. Two AAA batteries. And you got little quality control things. There's all little markers and stuff in there. There's all sorts of little ways to tell real ones from fake ones apart. And yeah, so we throw these guys on. And as of these heads, oh wow, yeah. So I've got to let that whole voice echo when you got like normal shooting earmuffs on that don't have any hear through technology going on. So you go ahead, you crank that backwards, and it'll bring up the volume ever so slowly. There we go. Now I can hear myself. We adjust it a bit, and we're not really. So with the amps, when you're doing this sort of ordeal, when you're talking, it sounds like you're naturally talking, you're not getting anything too crazy, your voice might be slightly amplified, but not too much. This is like reverberating through the jawbone, and it's making your own voice kind of distracting, which makes it a bit more difficult to talk. So you got to kind of ignore what you're saying yourself and focus more on what you need to say instead of how you're hearing yourself talking, or you're never going to get anywhere in life at all. <laughs> and with the Opscore amps, it's uh, less noticeable. Actually, I'm going to... So I've got the echo going on, the echo is fresh in the brain, we're going to turn those guys off. And we come on over here, we throw this guy on, we're just going to do this real quick, throw on our amps. And yeah, with these amps they're always a little funky, so even with them off, it's not so bad, the little quieter voice. And I can still hear that little microphone going on. I've ended up just taking the, uh, like unscrewing the caps until they power down all the ways. Because if you leave the caps closed with the uh, batteries in, it like slowly trickles on down, I can still hear the audio thing going away. I think it's a result of the NFMI because yeah, it's still doing the beep beeps when I'm pressing it, even though it's technically off right now and it's freaking me out. I'm going to go ahead and turn these on. Beep beep beep. Alright, cool. So we'll turn that volume down ever so slightly. And yeah, so the whole can echo thing is not nearly as noticeable as these. It's a lot more um, sort of like a dull hollow echo you're getting more with the uh, powered lights. Also, these have 3D here through technology, so it's kind of like those old school Boa speaker ads. It's like, whoa, sound everywhere. So yeah, so these ones are definitely noticeably way better, especially with the uh, NFMI enabled things going on. So I can hear my neighbors from here. All right. I'm going to turn these guys on off. And I'm going to go ahead and 
So here's what I do with these. I just loosen these screws a bit, and that little that little sort of like static noise just goes, and I say you effectively turn these off because otherwise they will pretty much stay on and kill your batteries. Not as fast as they used to after the repair, but still concerning. So. As you can see, these guys are still holding up. Like I said, $46. My guy put a lot of electrical tape on these. And uh, yeah, repairing these little parts where they kind of like rusted off is a huge pain. So, yep. But they do still work. That's important. And uh, they don't really have a, um, a freaking microphone jack. But you do have this 3.5 millimeter audio port right back here on the left side. So if you wanted to run like cable from a radio, at least for the uh, microphone portion, not the microphone, the uh, speaker portion into your ear, you can still hear what's going on on radio, but you're going to need a separate speaking device to actually communicate unless you want to do some crazy wire splicing nonsense to make all that work out. But for $46, pretty legit. So one of the key issues that I have with these anyway is definitely these freaking ear cups. So while they do work a little bit, they are relatively stiff and they kind of suck. And when you're wearing uh, ear or eye pro with them, it's definitely going to press down onto the Nipro and be problematic. Actually, let me grab my, uh... I'm doing a lot of filming in one day. It's the only chance I get. So everything's got to be done in one go. We throw these guys on here. Yeah, from our last video. We throw these guys, oh, throw these guys on over here. Slide that down there. And get that volume going up a bit until I can hear myself. There we go. We still got the decent ear seal. And then we got the cap on. I'm getting that fogging issue once again. Oh yes, so lovely. But yeah, so we can uh, hear everything that's going on. And it's not the least comfortable. I'm gonna assume it's at least going to function when you're go out and about doing loud bang bang noises. But uh, yeah, it is. The voice from yourself talking is definitely distracting. It's kind of like being in a freaking small can or actually when I had that freaking night helmet on when you're talking into that the whole voice echoes around it's kind of like that this is definitely being a very closed tight tiny room and uh yeah it kind of sucks uh, I don't really like it but yeah even with the uh eye pro off it's still relatively distracting so if your goal is to be able to kind of communicate or at least hear people talking to you and uh being distracted by yourself talking back it's whatever but when you're actually doing the whole pew pew assuming the certifications are up to date your hearing's going to be fine, it's going to be, well, still leagues and bounds above just your standard big old ear shooting muffs, because you can actually hear and talk, instead of having to, like, scream at everyone with little earplugs in, like, we did on the rage back in the day, so. Yeah, so, ooh, actually, let's turn that volume all the way up, yeah. Now it's even worse. <laughs> let's see, can I hear anything cool? I can hear, I can hear the wind outside, and that's kind of neat. Can't necessarily hear the neighbors no more, but you can hear the wind. So yeah, a little bit distracting. I'd probably say it's, um, it actually kind of reminds me of my uh, old Swordens I had way back in the day. It's kind of similar to the, the Swords didn't echo as much, but mostly their pickups got a ton of wind going on, so. These are definitely, um, I mean, $46. I would say they're relatively decent. Obviously nowhere near as close to like amps or contacts. But maybe a bit closer to Swordens, but then again, you could get like old sets of Swordens for like $80, $100, and then you can have your little mic and your amped PTTs and stuff going on. They do fold into this nice little, squ nice little ball shape. The headband's comfortable enough. Nothing too unique or crazy about that. Of course, you got the imprint. Um, full disclosure, I have no idea who Howard Light is. I think he's like a popular Australian shooter, uh, hunting guy, maybe? I don't know. I really don't know who he is. Uh, I got his product, I know about his product, so. The pickups are decent. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. I can't tell you if they're waterproof or not. Uh, that would be interesting to find out. If water destroys these, then, uh, yeah, don't go to the range when it's raining. Um, but yeah, interesting interesting little setup, decent. I uh, kind of like them. Probably because I got a real pair. If you get a fake pair, and then uh, when you're, if you're shooting with your ear pro on and you start getting a ringing, stop. <laughs> Take those off, put your fingers in your ear, and get your gun safe, and uh, go find real ear pro or put in little earplugs or something else crazy. So that is all I have for you guys. Um, so yeah, I can tell you these aren't the most comfortable ear cups, and they seem to function effectively. If you want better, definitely, I would definitely recommend buying better. But if you're really desperate for some ear pro, I'd say these would uh, these would do you well in a pinch. 
until they start completely falling apart like these ones. These ones need some repair, but nothing little TLC can't fix. That's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chillers. I'll see you all in the next video.